Peeling butternut squash is a lot easier than it looks. I know it looks intimidating, but once you know how to do it, it's really easy. If you've never bought a butternut squash before, you should look for a squash that doesn't have a ton of dents, doesn't have a ton of blemishes. A few are to be expected because it is grown outside, but nothing out of the ordinary. One thing to keep in mind is that if you've never bought a butternut squash before, I suggest that you take a few minutes and pick up four or five just to get a feel for how much they should weigh. What I've noticed is that if a butternut squash feels heavier than it should for its size, that's a good sign. That means that it's really flavorful. It's going to be a really dark orange inside. It's going to be really sweet, really flavorful. That's the one you want. It might feel kind of awkward picking up a bunch of butternut squashes in the grocery store, but it's well worth the extra trouble, or as the Argentines would say, a little bit extra quilombo. There are two ways to cut and peel butternut squash. One is the traditional way, and then another way is the way that I used to do it that's a little bit less intimidating if you've never done it before. But first I'll show you the traditional way. I do not have a special chef's knife, so this is what I'm gonna use. It actually works perfectly fine. First, just make sure that you wash and dry the butternut squash. And this top here, where it's connected to the plant, I go ahead and cut that off just because with my knife that's not a chef's knife, I don't want to run the risk of not being able to cut through that. Now to cut this, find a point that is in the middle of the squash. So we'll say here, and then take your knife, insert it in at the top, and then bring it down like this. I'm standing to the side of the tripod, so I'll go like this. I think you'll still be able to see. So this is in the middle of the squash when it's laid on its side. We'll go in like this. And just press down. My knife didn't go quite all the way through, so I'm just gonna try and open the squash a little bit, stick my knife back down in there, and then work it back and forth until I get all the way through, top and the bottom. See, nice and easy. Once your butternut squash is cut, take the tip of your knife or spoon and dig out the seeds. To peel it, what I like to do is I just cut off the top part, it's above the bulbous bottom. I set it down as flat as I can, then I just take my knife around the edge, like that. not too hard to peel a butternut squash. For the bulbous bottom, I take the bottom and I cut it off like that so that I can sit it flat or stand it flat. And then I just take my knife down around the edge in a curved motion like that. And if there's a bit of white left over, just take it off with your knife. Here on the bottom a little bit. 
And there. Butternut squash is cut and peeled. If you've never cut or peeled a butternut squash before, this is the non-traditional, but in my opinion, less intimidating way. As you can see, it's enlarged on the bottom and has a neck, for lack of a better way of describing it, at the top. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the neck. So just like that. Nice and easy. Although butternut squash is absolutely delicious, sometimes we don't want to go through all the trouble of cutting and peeling an entire butternut squash. Maybe we're just cooking for one, or we just need a little bit for whatever recipe we're making. In that case, what I have done in the past is instead of cutting off this entire top or cutting it down the middle, what I'll do is I will cut off the top part and then let's say I'm going to make a little bit in the microwave. I just need a little bit for something. I will cut off part of the top and then I will just run my knife around the edge like that. Nice and easy. And to be honest, this one doesn't look too good. It's a very light yellow color, but you can see how to prep it. This is the color it should be. It should be this nice, dark, yet still bright orange. Or like this one. That is what you want. This color. If you cut into a butternut squash and it's that color, I would see if you have a, another one because this one is not going to be very sweet. But at least you can see how to cut it. Once you get to this bottom bulbous part, what you want to do is you want to cut off the bottom so that it sits as flat as possible. Let's see. This is kind of crooked. There. Now it's flatter. And then just take your knife and cut down and around the edge in a somewhat curved motion. So instead of cutting straight down, cut on a curve outwards. like that and then once you get all of the peel removed then you can cut it down the center and then take the tip of your knife or a fork and you can remove the seeds sometimes there's a little bit of peel left on the bottom here just take your knife and remove that I'm going to Remove this here. There too. Oops. Now all we have to do is cut down the center and then scoop that out. Whatever you don't use, you can cut, you can freeze. This is a vegetable that I think has a very long shelf life. I've whittled away at a burnt squash in the past over the course of a month and I thought it still tasted fine. So now you have different ways of cutting a butternut squash. Some are some of the ways of going about it are a little bit more intimidating than others, but honestly, once you learn how to cut and peel a butternut squash, I think you'll be eating it more because it is truly delicious. As you can see, learning how to peel a butternut squash is really easy. A butternut squash is a really popular vegetable in Argentine cuisine, and I hope that it becomes more popular in the United States. Once you know how to peel a butternut squash, you can make recipes like oven roasted butternut squash and mashed butternut squash, one of Argentina's most popular side dishes. These recipes are coming soon, so stay tuned.